let's imagine a system, AI system that's able to be incredibly convincing and can convince you of anything. I, I can at least imagine such a system. And I can see such a system be weapon-like because it can control people's minds. We're pretty gullible. We, we want to believe a thing and you can have an AI system that controls it. And you could see governments using that as a weapon. So do you think if you imagine such a system, there's any parallel to something like nuclear weapons? No. So is it, why, why, why is that technology different? So you're saying there's going to be gradual development. Yeah. There's going to be, I mean, it might be rapid, but it'll be iterative. And then we'll be able to kind of respond and, and so on. So that AI system designed by Vladimir Putin or whatever, <laughs> or his uh, minions, uh, you know, is going to be uh, like talking to, trying to talk to every American to uh, convince them to vote for, you know, whoever, whoever pleases Putin sure. uh, or whatever, or, or, you know, or rile people up against each other. Um, as they've been trying to do. They're not going to be talking to you. They're going to be talking to your AI assistant, mm -hmm. which sure. is going to be as smart as theirs, mm -hmm. right? That AI, because as I said, in the future, every single one of your interaction with the digital world will be mediated by your AI assistant. So the first thing you're going to ask is, is this a scam? Yeah. Like, is this thing like telling me the truth? Yeah. Like, it's not even going to be able to get to you because it's only going to talk to your AI assistant. Your AI assistant is not, not even going to, it's going to be like a spam filter, right? You're not even seeing the email, the spam email, right? It's automatically put in a folder that you never see. Um, it's going to be the same thing. That AI system that tries to convince you of something is going to be talking to your AI assistant, which is going to be at least as smart as it. And it's going to say, this is spam, you know, <laughs> Uh, it's not even going to bring it to your attention. So to you, it's very difficult for any one AI system to take such a big leap ahead to where it can convince even the, the other AI systems. So like, it, you, there, there's always going to be this kind of race where nobody's way ahead. That's the history of the world. History of the world is, you know, whenever there is a progress someplace, someplace there is a countermeasure. And... And you know it's a it's a cat and mouse game. Well, this is why mostly yes, but this is why nuclear weapons are so interesting because that was such a powerful weapon that it matters who got it first. That you know you could imagine Hitler, Stalin, Mao getting the weapon first, and that that having a different kind of impact on the world than than the United States getting the weapon first. Yeah. But to you, nuclear weapons is, is like, you, you don't imagine a uh, breakthrough discovery and then Manhattan Project-like effort no. for AI. No, as I said, it's not going to be an event. It's gonna be, you know, continuous progress. And, and whenever, you know, one breakthrough occurs, it's gonna be widely disseminated really quickly. Yeah. Probably first within industry. I mean, this is not a domain where you know, government or military organizations are particularly innovative and they're in fact way behind. Yeah. Um, and so this is gonna come from industry and, and this kind of information disseminates extremely quickly. We've seen this over the last few years, right? Where you have a new, like, you know, even take AlphaGo, this was reproduced within three months, mm -hmm. even without like particularly detailed information, right? Yeah, this is an industry that's not good at secrecy. <laughs> No, like but people, even even if there is, just the fact that you know that something is possible, yeah, uh, makes you like realize that it's worth investing the time to actually do it. You you may be the second person to do it, but you know, you'll you'll do it. Uh, and you know, same for you know all the innovations uh, of you know self supervised learning transformers, deco decoder only architectures, LLMs. I mean, those things. You don't need to know exactly the details of how they work to know that you know it's possible uh, because it's deployed and then it's getting reproduced and then you know people who work for those companies move; they go from one company to another, and mm -hmm. you know the information disseminates. What makes the success of 
the, the US uh, tech industry and Silicon Valley in particular is exactly that, is because information circulates really, really quickly and dis you know, disseminates uh, very quickly. And so you know, the, the whole region sort of is ahead because of that circulation of information.